everyone, how you doing? You're welcome back to my channel. And my name is Okis. Hope you're good. I'm good. <laughs> so welcome back to a new tutorial. And in today's class, we'll be making the a stretch band satin bonnet cap or hat. And trust me, it's gonna be very beautiful. Yeah, so nice. So you don't need an elastic at all. You just need a stretchy band for that. Here I have two options. So I have a fabric, it's just a leftover from the outfit I have on, yeah. Then I also have this, then a matching satin to go with, then, so I have two options. But, you can decide to only use a fabric, So, you, but if you want it to be reversible, then you can make use of two, so you could use both sides. But you can just make use of one, you don't want it to be too bulky and you don't want it to be reversible. Then you are going to need an elastic material, a very stretch. That's, that was why I called it a stretch band. So since I don't have any stretchy fabric, I just had to check my closet and I saw an old leggings. So I just decided to use it because it's very stretchy. Let's improvise. So when you are in need of something, so right now we'll go to the work table to get started. And before that, please follow me on Instagram. Glicky signatures, yeah. There's only one Glicky signatures, yeah. <laughs> and then on Facebook, so in innovations, please subscribe. If you are not yet subscribed, and if you are new, you're welcome and in the right place. So let's go to the work table. It is time to get started, and I have two options as I've said, but I think I will go with this. But you can make use of any material at all. So we eat any matching satin if you want it reversible, but if you don't want that, just a piece of fabric is fine. So all I'm going to do now is this, can you see, just a little fabric. So just fold it as we fold for a full circle, then fold again. Insert the measurements for the circle, and this measurement determines on the amount of volume you need. So depending on the how huge the hair you have on is but on the minimum 10 is okay while on the maximum 13 is fine so for me i'll just make use of 11 inches so place it at the hedge here and then i'll mark 11 inches all around If you have a huge extension, you can make use of 12 to 13, but on the average, 11 is fine. So the circle has been formed. The next thing is to cut it out. Right now I have a full circle. I will now have to fold it back to cut it on the satin. This is the satin. I just cut out a little. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So the wrong side has to be facing each other. I've marked this, this is the wrong side. So the wrong side will be facing the wrong side because we want to sew on the right side. You might be wondering, that is because it's going to be an inseam finishing. So that is why left side is facing left side. So I have my right side here and also here right side. The next stage is to sew up the Hat. and here we are going to be gathering it so you need the longest stitch on your sewing machine that is the gathering stitch 
So just pick a point. Let's assume on this very point. This will be the starting point. Then you're going to sew on half an inch all around the circle. So all around half an inch. Then you stop very close to the initial point where you started. And then we'll now have to gather it. So before this now, we'll go to cut out the stretch band. It is time to cut the band. And you see the material is so stretchy. And what you have to do is to take the circumference around your head without putting anything on. So for me, it is 23. 23 inches. So we are not going to have any seam allowance to this. That is because it is stretchy. And then you want it to be firm on your head, but remember not too firm. That it becomes uncomfortable for you. So just measure the exact measurement. So 23 this is 23 23 and then I want the wideness of two inches you could even do two and a half depending on how wide you want the stretch band to be but for me two inches is okay I will now have to have extra half an inch this is on fold this stretch band is on fold so I'll measure two inches plus extra half an inch for seam allowance. So that will be two and a half inches of fold by 23, which I'm going to cut out. Looking at this, I have my band ready. So here I have 23 inches by two and a half. As you can see, it is on fold. So opening it up, I'll have something like this. Can you see? So that's fine. So first, let me go to the sewing machine to gather this hole. Right now, I've sewn on half an inch all around the hat. So the next thing now is to gather it up to the size of the band we have here. So I'm just going to take my time to gather it up. Thank you. Can you see? So I'm going to gather it all around. I have gathered this up now. Can you see what I have? So you can see so beautiful. You can turn it to the other side. So I gather it to the same length with this. This is on fold now. So can you see that? So I still have like half an inch because that's because I'm going to sew this up. What do I do? I'm going to turn this to the wrong side. So this is the right side of the band. Then I'm going to close it. So right side facing each other. And I'm just going to sew down half an inch. Make sure you use a zigzag stitch because it is very stretchy before we attach it to the hat. So not the stretch band down with a zigzag stitch so it just stick nicely. Can you see? So I can just trim it up a little. So when you fold it back, so can you see that? What we are going to do now is to attach this to the hat. So you just start at a point. And can you see? So I'm going to sew half an inch. Can you see? So take your time. So note, this is the wrong side. So the right side is facing the right side of the hat. So you just take your time. So you keep pinning me so I can just turn it this way to make it easier. Can you see? wrong side I would now have to take it to the sewing machine and just sew in half an inch all around make sure the thread you use in gathering does not show up um, outside at all so it should be after the stitch you should sew it below the stitch all around so let me do this then we can now finish it up 
right now I have attached it. Can you see? So I'm just going to trim this off. So it's taking shape already. Can you see? So the next thing now is this. I'll have to turn it to the other side. The next thing I'm going to do now is this. Just You just have to take your time. I'm now going to fold in half. Remember, we've taken half. We've sewn in half. I'm now going to fold in half again. Can you see? Then cover up the seam. So this is what we want to have. So that we have both sides well secured. Can you see? And here it's going to be like this. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to pin it all down. So can you see I'm covering the seam because we want to have it invisible on both sides. So can you see? Then on the other side, so it is reversible. You can use any side at all. So I'm going to take to the sewing machine and just sew it. After sewing it up, this is what I have. So this is it on one side. Can you see how beautiful that looks? So I'm going to turn it to the other side too. So can you see that too? So can you see what it looks like? So what I'm going to do now is to put it on for you to see how it looks on me. This is the heart. You can see it's just so beautiful. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see? So this is just one side of the heart. So what I'll do now is to turn the other one for you to see how it looks. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? This is the other side, so you can see it is reversible, you can use any part at all, and it just looks the same. Isn't it nice? Yeah, can you see? So I'm sure you make yours and share with us on our Facebook group Sewing Innovations. Tag me on Instagram, look your signatures. And please subscribe to share the link with your family and friends. And remain your girl with the keys. Yeah. Bye.